Okay, now Samsung introduced a brand new feature for the always on display on One UI 6.1, which was released on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. I'm sure most of you are already aware of this feature. This is called Show Lock Screen Wallpaper. And this feature was something which was already available on the iOS as well. Now, iOS users would definitely say this is a complete ripoff from the iOS. They've just copied this feature. I would definitely agree with that. And this is something which is not new. Samsung copies Apple, Apple copies Samsung, which is a never ending affair. Now, what's more interesting is Samsung has gone one step ahead and introduced another feature in relation to showing the wallpaper on the lock screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to settings. Let me tap on lock screen and always on display settings. Now here I'll tap on always on display. You see, we have a switch here for show lock screen wallpaper. When I enable this, you will also get to see another option here called erase background. Now what this is going to do is it is going to show the main subject of the photo when the always on display is turned on. Automatically it will darken the background of any photo so that the subject or the object pops out on the always on display with the black background. This is very very thoughtfully done. And here it says this works best with photos that have people or animal as the main subjects. So you set any images with pets or people, this feature will automatically darken the background and shows the main subject on the always on display. So if you're enabling this feature, you need to set a wallpaper with people or animals. I've even tried the wallpapers with some cartoon characters on it. That didn't work either. So it works best when you have a human or animal on the lock screen wallpaper. This is just amazing. On the iOS, we just have the show lock screen wallpaper option on the always on display. And it will consume some battery if you are someone who wants such wallpaper to be available on the lock screen. Whereas on the Samsung's One UI 6.1, we have an option where we can completely erase the background on the wallpaper making the subject pop out on the always on display. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Now, maybe Apple could consider adding this feature on the iOS, like they have recently borrowed many customization features from Android. Now, this particular always on display feature is currently available on One UI 6.1 on the S24 series, and these will come to the predecessors as well, like the S23 series, S22 series, and probably some of the mid ranges like the A series phones might also get this always on display feature where you can erase the background on a lock screen wallpaper. So, stay tuned, I will keep you guys posted. Now, now, as far as the always on display settings are concerned on the One UI 6.1, Samsung has skipped a couple of settings which are very very important. I hope they bring them back. The first one is auto brightness feature which enables us to adjust the brightness of always on display. Now this is a very very important settings or option which should be available and I hope Samsung brings this back on One UI 6.1. The other option or the other setting which is missing on the One UI 6.1 is the screen orientation. On 6.0 we have an option to select portrait mode or landscape mode for the always on display which is currently missing on One UI 6.1. I hope Samsung adds these features back on One UI 6.1 for the predecessors whenever it gets released and even for the S24 series. With the next update I hope they add these options. Now I'd also like to suggest Samsung to increase the size of this always on display when the phone is kept on landscape mode and also get the alignments right. This will be very useful when we keep the phone in landscape mode on a phone stand or a phone holder. We will be able to use it as a clock on the desk. Currently the alignments of the clock and the size of the clock is really disoriented. It is just thrown on the screen which doesn't look good at all. So maybe in the future Samsung can fix this on the landscape mode let us set or customize the always on display in different sizes and with some more widgets or information. That would be fantastic. Now that's all I want to share with you guys. You guys let me know your thoughts about this. What do you think about these new features on always on display on the One UI 6.1? And if you have anything to suggest Samsung about the always on display, do drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.